Hello and welcome to this session on JMeter remote testing. Today we will learn how we can do remote testing in JMeter and it is also called as distributed testing or we will also learn how to set up master slave in JMeter. So before we go to step number one, let us see why exactly we want to do remote testing. So I will go to my browser and search for JMeter remote testing and here I will go to images and let us see this image so here you can see let me just expand this and you can see here we have this server which is under test or this is the server where our application is hosted and instead of putting the load on the server from a single system or from a single JMeter we have created three slaves here so this is slave number one slave number two and slave number three and then we have distributed the load and then we are putting the load to this server so all the slaves are sending the request to this particular server now there can be two reasons we want to do this one reason is if you want to create a huge load on the server and the machine on which your jmeter is cannot uh, create such load due to some infrastructure or hardware limitations you can take help of these slaves the other reason can be if you want to do some uh, distributed test in terms of location and geographies so if you want that uh, your server should get this load from different locations or geographies even then you can use this kind of a system uh, let us also look at this image so this is something similar and a more simple image so you can see here we have a jmeter master and then we have these server uh, jmeter slaves which are putting the load on the target system or the server so this is why we want to do remote testing or distributed testing or we want to have master slave concept in jmeter so step number one is we have to first set up our master so this is the system that we want to create as a master so i will first go to my jmeter folder so i will go to tools and i have my jmeter here and then i will go to bin now this is on mac if you are on windows you will follow the same thing you will go to your jmeter and wherever your jmeter folder is and go to the bin folder and here you will find a file called jmeter.properties so you can see this is the file here and the same thing i have here or inside my bin folder there is a file called jmeter.properties let me just search for that file first yes it is here so let me just open this uh, file now here on this file jmeter.properties uh, you will find remote hosts so if you search for remote hosts here so you can see you will find this line remote hosts and here is the IP so the very first thing is you have to give the IP address of the slaves here so whatever system you want to create a slave you will give the IP address here so you can give a comma separated multiple IP addresses so what I will do is I will just create a new line and say uh, give the IP address of my slave systems now in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same system as a slave machine as well so I will just take the IP here so on Mac I can say if config and here I should get my IP address so here is my IP address I will just copy it from here and then give it here also you can uh, give multiple IP addresses separated by commas if you want to have multiple slaves but in this particular demo I'm going to go with a single slave system the same thing you can do on your uh, windows so in case you want to create a slave on windows itself again you can uh, go to your command line and look for your IP address so you will find your IP address here so this is the IP address of my windows system but here I am doing on my Mac so I will give my Mac op operating system IP address here and save this file and close it and now when you start your jmeter so let me start my jmeter so to start jmeter on mac i will just go to the location of bin folder so i will go to my 
desktop and I have a tools folder under that I have jmeter and here is my bin and I will say sh jmeter.sh so I will just start my jmeter so my jmeter is coming up let us just wait for jmeter to get started and here now what I'm going to do is I will create a new test you can use some existing test as well but what I will do here is I will just create a very quick a uh, test I will add a thread group I will add a HTTP request and uh, let me just go to any website so I'm going to my blog lifecharger.org I'll copy this URL and give it here in the server name and of course I do not need this protocol here and now uh, let me just create a, or add a listener here to see the response I will add view results in table I can also add a listener view results tree and now I will just run this let me save this JMX uh, file uh, desktop itself and I will run this so here you can see we are getting a successful uh, response here we are getting the success message here and also in view results tree we can see everything is successful now we have ran this on the same system but we want to run it on a slave system or a remote system so for that what you will do is if you go to run option here at the top you will have this run menu and then you go to remote start and now you can see the IP address here so this has come here because we have added this IP into our JMeter properties so if I want to run this on this remote system now take care as of now for this demo I am using the same system as remote as well as the main master system but in your case you will be having a separate system as a remote system you just have to ensure that the master and the slave can connect to each other and can talk to each other so here I will just click here and here you can see I am getting a message exception creating connection to this particular IP and the exception is file not found rmi keystore.jks so what does this mean is we have to create this file so we will create this file let us just go to our steps here so step number one we have set up the master and we have added remote systems IP in jmeter dot properties and then now step number two is create the key store file and for that what we have to do is if you go to your again to your jmeter bin there will be a file called as create rmi keystore dot bat and create rmi keystore dot sh now in case you are on windows you can just double click this file and it will start the command line and in case of linux or mac you will run this file so i am on mac so what i will do is i'll go to my terminal let me also uh, just copy this in the notes and all these notes will be available with this video run this bat file or in case of mac or linux the sh file so on mac i'll go to a new tab of the terminal and i'm already on the bin folder so i will just run this file create rmi keystore.sh now when you run this file it will start this questionnaire it will start your first name last name and some more questions now here you have to take care uh, there are some particular values that you have to give as first name and, sla and last name so uh, here you will give rmi and also if you go to jmeter remote testing you will find a apache jmeter user manual let us go here and here you have all the documentation so this will be very useful while you are doing remote testing and if you go a little down you will find this this is the uh, setting up ssl what we are doing right now okay so if you look here it is saying when you run the script it will ask you some questions about some names it will embed in the certificate you can type 
type in whatever you want as long as the key store tool accepts it that value has to match the property server rmi ssl key store alias which defaults to rmi a sample is shown below so ideally you should be able to give any name but yes in case of first name and last name you should give rmi and also when you give when it asks for the password you should give the password as change it because i have experienced that if you do not give this sometimes your connection is not proper so here i will give rmi and then other things you can give as you want. So I'll just give this and then you will say yes. Now here the password you will say you will give change it. So I'm the name you have to give as RMI and the password you have to give it as change it. Okay. So this is C H A N G E I T change it. So I'll give the same password here. Okay. So once you do this, uh, you will find a file generated in your bin directory. So again, if you go to your bin directory, uh, you will find a new file generated. So here, this is the file. So you can see this is the file RMI keystore.jks that is just now generated. And now you can again uh, start your JMeter so I will again start my JMeter and I think it's already started. So let me just go there. Yeah. So now I will again try to remote start. I will go to run remote start on this particular IP. Now here again, it is saying connection refused from this particular IP. So what we have to do is step number three is run JMeter server file on slave or remote machine so whatever system is your slave or remote system there you have to go and you have to go to your jmeter bin and of course uh, i think this is obvious that uh, you should be having the jmeter on the remote system as well in fact there are some uh, prerequisites which i have kept it for last but i think this is this should be helpful now all the systems master and slaves should have the same version of jmeter all the systems uh, should have java and preferably the same version that will help all the systems can connect to each other and are in the same sub subnet so you have to take care that your master and slaves or remote system have the same version of jmeter they have java and they are they can talk to each other okay and then there is no need to copy the jmeter script or the jmx file to slave systems if it is there on the master itself there is no need to copy it and then if you have to use 100 users and you have two slaves then you have to give the number as 50 so when you say 50 and run on two slaves it will run 50 on both the slaves it will run with a user load of 50 on both the slaves so these are some helpful tips and uh, now we have to run this file so because i am using the same system as my slave so you will find this jmeter server file here so if you are on windows you will find it here inside your bin jmeter server file is here jmeter server bat so you can click here and it will run and you will find something like this if you are on mac of course you will go to your uh, terminal so again I will go to my terminal and I will run this file so I'm on my bin directory of jmeter so I will just start my jmeter server file here and yes now you can see it is now running so it is also it will also show you the host and all the other information and now it should be we should be able to run our jmeter so now when I will start you should see something coming here so let me just make our users to five and let us also make this ramp up period to five and here let me clear all the data and now i will go to my jmeter go to run and remote start and click on this ip so you see as soon as i have clicked there you can see it is saying starting the test on host this particular ip and it has started and now it has finished as well 
and if you go to the results you can see the results have come to the master system so you can see results are coming back to the master system and our remote testing is working fine now just in case you want to run it from a non GUI mode what you will do is so if it is a non GUI mode of course you will go to your command line or terminal in case of Mac or Linux and then I will start my command line so I will use the command to run jmeter of course if you are on windows you will just start from jmeter and then minus n minus t and give the location of the jmx file so that in my case is users desktop and it is this is the jmx file and if you want to log the results to some particular file you can use it so I am going to log the results at a location on my desktop and I just want to create a new file so I will say result.csv okay and then you have to say minus r and give the IPs of your slaves so in our case the IP is this 192.168.1.2 so I will give the same thing here 192.168.1.2 so I will just start it and here you can see when you will start this you can see starting the test on remote engines so you can see remote engine have been started and is now running the test and once the test is executed it will stop it and yes now it has done it it is tidying up the remote system and now it has finished it and here if you go to your location where you have your result file on my desktop I can see the result.csv is created let me open this and you can see the result has come here so the result comes back to the master you can log it into a file or on the jmeter GUI itself so now let me also write down the step step number four will be run and validate and we can run from both GUI and command line that we have already seen and here are the useful things or prerequisites that we have already gone through so this is how you can do remote testing or distributed testing or testing using master slaves in Jmeter I hope this was very useful for you thank you for watching